847 on your Friday, May 13th. Welcome back to Acadiana's Morning News. And as the legislature starts to wrap up this se- session, oh, yeah. in which they said they weren't going to talk about money at all. We've got to talk about state butterflies. We've got to talk about education, different <laughs> things like that. Of course, the money issue has never really gone away, yeah. but that's not going to stop another special session for budgetary reasons that's going to start next month. Joining us on the phone, State Treasurer John Kennedy. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So, all right, here's what I want to know. So I saw this thing that came out about the sales tax and the corporate income tax. And then I have a story uh, about yesterday's revenue estimating conference and their report. So, Mr. Treasurer, what's it really like in Louisiana right now? Here's what's going on. I'll give you the bottom line first, and then we can back up and talk about what you would like. Yeah. We've got more than enough money right now, to fully fund TOPS. But Governor Edwards and most, not all, but most of the Democrats in the legislature want to pass a budget that severely cuts TOPS so the people will get upset and he can call a special session of the legislature and force the legislature to raise personal income taxes by about $900 million. Whoa. So you really think that's what's behind this, huh? Everybody at the state capitol knows what's behind this. <sighs> uh, right now, for our new fiscal year beginning July 1, we have more state and federal money to spend than we have had since the boom days after Katrina when all the federal money flowed into Louisiana's budget. Remember, the governor in the special session raised taxes about, I don't know, $1.3, $1.4 billion. That means that for July 1, we're going to have about $15.4 billion in state money and another $12.5 in federal money. We're going to have a $28 billion budget beginning July 1. The current budget's only $25 billion. Whoa. Wow. Mm. And, and so all this is a big political game, unfortunately. Uh, and the governor, I think, will ultimately end up losing. I do not believe that this legislature will not fund TOPS. I believe they will fully fund TOPS because we've got – it's a great program, number one. Number two, we've got enough money to do it. But the governor's really trying hard to put pressure on him so he can call a special session and say, well, now I need you to raise another $900 million, and I want an income tax increase. He, he's put together a, a, a task force. We've got another study committee. There are a lot of college professors, good people, on this task force, and they're going to recommend to him in a couple of weeks that he needs to raise personal income tax. So that gives him cover. But that's what's going on. And wow. I, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's we, we've, 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 had, we've lost 12,000 jobs in the oil and gas industry. We're not in, a, in a, a slowdown or a recession in oil and gas. We're in a full-fledged depression. Yeah. And to, to ask our people who, who are struggling to pay even more taxes, but this time in personal income tax, taxes, is unconscionable. In my opinion. So you really think the legislature will kind of band together and and fight this effort? You really think it'll be defeated? There's no way on God's green earth, in my (laughs) opinion. If I'm wrong, I'll come back on your show and eat (laughs) crow. But there's no way on God's green earth, in my opinion, that this legislature is going to fall for it and not fund cops. It's a great program. It's merit-based. Doesn't matter who your daddy is or your mama or what color your skin is or what your zip code is. If you're a youngster and you make your grades and you and you score, take the hard courses and score high enough, you can help with college. And it's kept more kids in Louisiana and away from Dallas and Denver and Atlanta than anything we've ever done. And I predict the legislature will fully fund it and and tell Governor Edwards no. Now, in, and I hope they do. Yeah. Now, in the attempt to do this, do you think this is really political suicide for Edwards, or is the timing right? Because by the time we get to the next 
governor's election, people will have forgotten? I don't know who the governor's listening to for advice. I, I really honestly don't. But I, I, I do know this. He's a smart man, and he knows how to count. Sure. He, he knows that beginning July 1, we have more money. We have three, we're going to have $3 billion more than we have have had in the last fiscal year. And to, 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 with a straight face, argue, well, I don't have a choice but to cut tops is ludicrous. And it's, I just don't think the legislature will fall for it. I hope they don't. If they do, I'm going to be back on your show. <laughs> um, and, and because, look, I mean, this is, this is, this is all fun and games and, you know, cute politics, but we're talking about people's lives here. We're talking about kids' education. We're talking about keeping these young people in Louisiana and helping them compete in a global economy. Um, but I think it, I, I do think it'll end well. I don't think the legislature will fall for for what the governor wants to do. So, Mr. Kennedy, um, in addition to your role as treasurer, you're also running as Senate. You haven't mentioned it yet in this interview. What would you say to those that um, put part of the blame for the situation we're in right now on you as state treasurer? Oh, I would say uh, that's 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 politics. You know, I'm I'm going to run on my record as state treasurer. I have uh, balanced uh, 16 budgets in a row in my department. 19, if you include one at the time I ran the Department of uh, Revenue. I have earned taxpayers of the state about a $1.5 billion by investing their money. That's $1.5 billion that they didn't have to pay in taxes. I've returned $315 million in unclaimed property. Um, I convinced the legislature to sell a portion of our tobacco company income stream before the tobacco companies could go broke, and then convinced the legislature to take $1.2 billion cash and put it into a trust fund and not spend it. And I'm very proud of that. That money's still there today. We're investing it. It'll be there for our kids and our grandkids. So I'm proud of my record. I'm, I'm happy to defend it. But but uh, I am running for the Senate. We're doing well. I've got a solid lead in the polls. But right now, I'm wearing my treasurer's hat. Uh, if, if this budget is a lot more important than politics. And I just think, look, Governor Edwards, he's a, he's a fine person. I've known him for a decade. He's a liberal Democrat. This is America. He has a right to be a liberal Democrat. But I have the right to say, as a conservative Republican, Governor, you're just wrong. And stop playing politics with our kids' education. All right. Well, State Treasurer John Kennedy joining us this morning, 822 at News Talk, 96.5 KPL. Thank you.